everyone welcome back it's Angela of course and I'm here to give you just a little quick project for your Friday journal video so I hope you've had lots of fun this week I have a this is my third video since Tuesday so I hope you've caught up with all of those and enjoyed the project so far don't forget to follow along with Rachel and Bella's collaboration for April um, and there's been four videos so far I think um, the link for that will be uh, in the description box and it is called hashtag uh, show your style JJ23. All right, so I'll just put it at the bottom there so you can see. Go and have a look at all the wonderful people that are taking part and sharing the ideas with you. Right, to move on to today's project, um, an oldie for me, but a goodie. Um, I did this project, I looked it up on the 10th of April, two years ago, 2021, um, and it was taking a mailer. So you're looking at something like this. And I turned it into a coin envelope and I love that video and I know lots of you did too. So I haven't made one since so I thought I would give that a go and put that into our spring journal because I'm having lots of fun working with the lovely soft and fresh colors for spring. So yeah so excited about that so thank you for all the wonderful support and amazing comments that you guys leave for me really encouraging and they mean the world to me I'm touching my hand on my heart here you really do so thank you right so I have got my signature here and I think I'm not going to put it over there I'm going to put it onto this lacy page here so that's where we're going to put this um, and we're going to make this very quickly. Now, just a few things of what you need. Go and grab yourself a mailer. Um, it doesn't need specific measurements, just one of these sorts of mailers. Sometimes in the US, they're a little bit narrower and longer. It doesn't matter as long as you've got something. I'll give you the approximate length. This is nine inches by four and a half, something around there. It doesn't matter as long as it fits onto your page this way. All right, we're going to fold it and cut it and whatever. So don't worry about the length. You can always trim it. And even if you take a larger envelope, you can trim it down to these me uh, measurements. Okay, if you don't have an envelope, just take two pieces of paper and measure four and a half by nine and you're good to go. So two together. All right, so I'm going to put my signature to this side. So you need one of those. I am using my collage sheet. So this is a piece of it, a collage sheet uh, from my Spring Splendor journal. I'm using a couple of the background pages. So these lovely ones with the pink. I'm using one of these from the background pages, which are um, the green. And I've grabbed the daisy card for, from my ephemera pack. And this is from my mini pages. So the tutu page. I've just cut out this, which I'm going to use as a journaling card. Okay, so that's what we need on the paper front. Then for the other little bits and pieces, I've got a couple of my daisies. So two of those, the smaller ones and one pink one. I fussy cut out from, I'm going to grab it here, this background page, one of these. And I've also cut out two of the daisies. You can see from over there, this is with the one inch punch and two pieces of card from a scrap piece of card also to fit onto those. Um, if you've got a slightly smaller uh, circle punch, that's going to work just as well. I've taken one of the butterflies from the kit. Oops, it's springing around there. I've got two little die cuts here. One is in a soft yellow and one is in a light green. So just two of those. That's it. And I've taken a little bit of the fabric from the fabric bundle. Um, made a little ruffle, that's the word, <laughs> there, just a short little one. I did grab a little piece of tatting, which I have a, a piece that's damaged, so I use it for bits and pieces. I've pointed out that already. I've taken a button, so just a little lemon button. Um, you want some needle and thread so we can attach that. And this is just some very fine ribbon, uh, which we're going to tie it all together. Right, so that's what we're going to need. I'm going to just put that up there. I'm going to move this over here. Um, you want a ruler and your scissors or 
craft knife and this was a mailer so, uh, so I have just slit it open there to open it so there we go and that's fine but what I want to do is I want to just trim a little bit off the top here and a little bit off the base and then we can open it right up so I really am taking a very thin amount a little sliver off the top here I'm going to cut slowly with my knife because if you do this too fast it tends to rip up the envelope or the paper and the same on the bottom so the only piece that's going to be joined is the bit this long side over here okay right so there we go in the bin close the blade we're good to go so if you open it up like this now you've got this all right this is just going to make it easier for us now i'm just going to take my glue and my art glitter glue has really seen better days but i keep refilling it i need to get one of the other bottles out i'm just going to stick that little bit down here right okay so we've got that there now what i want to do is i want to have a look on this side here and you want to grab a pencil for this now what i've decided is i want to well, let me give you some measurements because i've already said this is nine inches in length when it comes up to the just short of six and a quarter six and a quarter inches i'm making a little mark there all right and then I'm, not, I'm just gauging this about a half an inch below that i'm making another little mark and then at that point there i want to cut off that piece all right so to do that i'm going to open that up like that i'm just going to line it up on the board here and we're going to cut along there in the middle and straight across there all right now you can measure it on both sides i am using a a gridded board so i can see what i need to do but if you feel you need to measure it please do okay so only to the fold line like that and then you want to turn that around and cut it where that fold line is all right and you don't need that so keep it all right so we've got that there now the only other thing i want to do and you can use your scissors for this grab them is I want to just cut down to that first, that little notch, or the second mark we made. So just like that, okay. And then you want to just grab your bone folder and just score along that line there. Okay, that's all we want to do. There we go. All right. So that's all good now we can just fold that back like that and you can glue that down that little bit there oops now i almost didn't make a video today because i did the collaboration video and a tuesday video one after the each other and they were two pretty involved projects kept me very busy i just thought no i can't do another one <laughs> But I've made time. I've managed to catch up. I did have a few very late nights, but I have managed to catch up. So I'm very happy to tell you I'm here and sharing this little video with you today. Right, so we've got that there. When we fold that in now, we can um, see that we have this nice flap. We want to make a flap that's going to come just below that point there. So I'm going to take the remainder of this and then just meet it half an inch so if i if i've got that fold line there just so that you can see i really want to go down to that point there there or thereabouts okay and then just take your bone folder again like that okay how's that so now you can see we've made the bones of a little coin envelope here we've got this covering it up and we've got our little structure made. Now all you need to do is decorate it. Okay, so how amazing is that? So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to do this bit. Now I have cut out a lot here. There's just certain bits 
I want to go over because I do this quite a lot. Uh, I'm trying to keep it um, as easy as possible and, you know, less faffing. Really, that's the word, less faffing. So I've cut out a piece from that collage page in the Spring Splendor. And I take my pencil, and you've seen me do this many times, is hold the piece of paper, gauge where the window is, and make a little mark. All right, and you just need to hold this in place while you do that. All right, now the other way to do that, and I did put the piece here is, and I did it with this one, is cut out a piece the size of the window that you want. So this one's slightly smaller than this window, and I haven't taken it quite to the top or the bottom. And then what you do is you can just measure from the edge there how far the window needs to be. Make that the same measurement, yeah? And then you can, once you've established where that measurement is, you can then place this on there and draw around there, which is what I did with this one. As you can see, it's the exact size. All right, so that might make it easier for you. So you can make yourself a little template um, and that's good to go. Then I've used my craft knife to cut along there. Now I could cut through the daisies, but no, I want to make life difficult for you all. <laughs> no, I, I, I just like doing this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fuss, I'm fussy cutting and that's why I didn't do this I'm just fussy cutting the, along where those daisies are now normally I don't I don't move my scissors I just move the paper and it's difficult when I can't get my face close up to it and I haven't got the right glasses on I've do you know talking about glasses I must have nine pairs of reading glasses um wh one of them are prescription and the rest are ones I've bought from you know, like these magnifying pairs, which aren't great because I've got astigmatism in the one eye, so the lenses aren't exactly the same, but I can never find one pair of glasses, let alone nine, and I can't find any. So I've got one of the the others on my face, and <laughs> I don't know where the other eight pairs are, and they're not on my head, funny enough, for a change. Right, we've got that cut out. I would keep that, probably cut that bit off and use this for something so I don't throw anything away, as you know. Right, so we've got that little bit there. There's just some, this little bit here is bugging me. So I've just got to cut that dark piece out. Right, so that is going to look so cute with the little daisies there, like that. Okay, so look there. It fits perfectly on our little mailer. And we can stick that down. Now, I'm going to stitch around the edges of mine. Um, you do not have to do that. Just use a better glue than a glue stick. That's my advice there if you are not going to stitch around it. But I do like the effect of a stitched item. So I prefer to use a glue stick if I'm going to stitch. And then just line that up with everything that we've done here. There we go. We're good to go. So there's that one stuck on there. Look at that. Isn't that adorable with the little daisies? Okay. Now, as I said, if you've got a piece of paper, you can create your own window with a template um, and just put in some um, anything. Even tracing paper would work. This paper from a mail is not totally uh, clear it's a bit opaque so you know it would work right so we've got that done now what I want to do is you know I don't like this kind of thing shining through and that's why I have got a little backing piece here which I think is this one I just need to check yes okay I cut two out of this with a pink uh, design on I want to just stick that over there and nice for them, they've highlighted the area so I can see exactly where it needs to go. So I'm going to stick this over there. So let's do that. Now I'm looking forward to a little bit of a nice relaxing weekend. I have had some very long nights, very long, like 17 hours straight working and stuff like that. But my son's invited me to a nice steak dinner, which he is cooking. And he's insisting I go because he said he's not having this late nights anymore. So, you know, sometimes I wonder to myself, who's the adult and who, or who's the parent and who's the child? <laughs> I got told off yesterday. So I'm listening today. Right. So there we go. We've got that behind there. Lovely. 
I've got a little bit of a white bit I've just noticed over here. So, um, see, I haven't quite done something. I've probably got this a bit too low, but it looks all right up there. And all I'm going to do is just to show you that these things can happen. Is just take your ink, ink dauber, and run it over there. I'll just wipe it off the window. All right, so it doesn't matter. We're going to put other things on here. So there's the first bit. Now the next bit is I want to cover this bit, and that's where I've taken another piece of this, and I'm going to just open that up. See, it's much easier when it's open to do this. Of course, you don't have to open it if you've got a mailer that hasn't been um, used, of course. I'm just gluing this little bit down. Right, um... And I'm going to fit that over there like that. Right, let's get that down. Again, I'm going to stitch around here. So I'm going to just use my glue stick, which is fine. Love these glue sticks, my fave. I bought a box of these on offer and um, was really good offer on Amazon. And I, I'm very happy with them. They're my favorite. I find some of them do make the paper wet um, and not ideal. So yeah, I do prefer that. Right, just want to remember where that score line was. Oh, I didn't put my little ruler in there. So turn it over where I can see the fold and just run my, my bone folder over there again. So now I can just get that. Down. Are we going to be folding this bit a few times? Right, so we've got that there now. It looks like it was all made that way, doesn't it? And then we'll do the same here. Now, this side you're not going to see because we're going to stick it into our journal. But if you were going to gift this, you could always cover the back as well. Yeah. So what I've decided is to put a contrasting color on. So I've taken this from my Spring Splendor background pages which are fabulous colors and and designs for any journal because they are background so they're pretty they got patterns on like this but with lace and all different kinds of things and they all match beautifully for any spring project that you have or any project really there's 19 different uh, varieties in there a uh, dig digital or a printed kit all right i do two of each if it's a printed kit so you get 38 pages so go check that out if you are wanting to do that now i'm just having a little think 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 right we do that there okay okay i want to stick this down here on the edge now we'll round the corners didn't take the corner punch out it's okay right so we've got that there and again we want to just keep, we've got a nice strong flap here now, so I want to just make sure we keep it on that line that we have, so that's good. Right, so I've got that all going. Now what I want to do is, um, I will put the little, now I've got to do it before, don't I? So, um, just getting my processes in order now before i go and sew that up or if you're not going to sew it you can just glue those two sides as well um i want to just put our closure on now the closure involves these little circles um because it's a coin envelope and i'm using these two little daisies that i've cut out with my one inch punch so i'm going to just stick them on here I thought the glue wasn't working, but it is. So we're all right. I just want to get that right to the edge and stick this on. Gosh, my fingers are freezing. It is cold here today. It really is cold. I don't know what is going on, but the weather is not springy. <laughs> oh, so frustrating. I'm sure we've all had funny types of weather lately. But yeah, I really want spring to arrive. My, um, I'm not, um, I don't want to keep putting the heating on. It dries us all out, doesn't it? So it's just better just to, you know, 
have the warmer weather. I want to wash, you know. I don't know if you guys do this, but I like to take all the, the covers off my sofa, cushions and seats and, you know, all the big blankets and things that we've used a lot in winter and throws. I like to wash them and put them outside to air dry. And I'm wanting the hot weather to, to do all of that, you know. But, yeah, it's eluding me. It's eluding me. So I'm just... just giving us a little dust on the edges there just lightly and I'm not with with this is my personal opinion but with a, um, a kit that has a lot of soft pastels I don't do dark inking that's just my choice in fact I, I used to use a lot of antique linen to do that with pastels and I do like it it's just um, a tone down from the vintage photo Okay, so I've gone and grabbed the cropper doll. I thought that would be easier, but if you don't have one, use the little brads, make a little hole um, where you place it. So you want to place this, you know, sort of in the middle. So there, I think that's in the middle. All right. And then you want to, um, well, I suppose it's easier probably to make a hole in here. And I don't want to turn it over purely because I want to not be waylaid by the image. So I think, I think that's the center and that's not based on anything that I'm working on. I'm just eyeballing it. Right, so then we've got that there. And then while I've got it out and that looks pretty good, I'm going to just put the other one underneath and draw a circle there and then Oh, that went in my mouth. And then I can just see where the, the little pencil line is. There we go. So we've got those. Now the same thing here. Take your little goodie with a hole. Find the middle. Right. So like about there. Draw the circle. Yeah, and keep that one there when you place the next one. And I think it's about there. Is that right? Yeah. Draw your circle. Okay. Now we can cut out the circles. Hopefully this is going to be long enough. Otherwise I'll have to get out my uh, crop, my big bite. So cut that there. Take this one, get your little eyelet, and then turn this over and give it a good press. Okay, and then this one. Okay, so I got that in. I've got that in. We're good to go. It's almost time to sew around it, and all I needed now is my little corner punch just to round my corners. Now, it, I have got quite a lot of um, paper here, <laughs> so it doesn't want to do it. There we go, there's the one. Brute force, brute force is required. Not really. Okay, so we've rounded those off. So there we go. And now you can just give that a little bit of a edging. So we're all good to go. Almost done with this. So I'm going to quickly just sew around there and there. And let me join you back here. Okay, in so you can see I've just stitched around there and around there. And I just like the look. You don't have to do that. Now what I want to do is just ever so quickly, I want to just stick that on there and stick that on here. So I'm going to do that ever so quickly. All right, so I've just stuck those two down. I've put them on the butterfly. Now I'm just taking my little peony here that I've cut out from that same place as I cut out the daisies. I'm just going to stick this down quickly like that I want to stick these two down so I'm just gauging where it needs to be 
Now uh, with these underneath it, it's giving these a little bit of a 3D look, which is cool. And then I'm going to take my little, just find out which is the right side. I think that's the right side. Now some of these have a little bit of fluff on, so they need to, not the pink ones so much, but the little yellow ones. I have had to trim off a few fluffy bits, but that's okay. Right, I want that there. And then this one, just using the fabric tack to stick these down, which is perfect for this. And then I'm going to put that one there like that. How sweet is that? Yeah. Now with this one, I want to just to, to uh, take the tatting. I wanted to put it onto the top there and then take my little button. And um, I think what I'm going to do is, no, I'm not. I'm going to stitch it on like that. Where's my little needle and thread? So I just used embroidery thread here. Such bright, uh, not bright, what's not the, for, um, fresh fabrics. I just adore them. So we're going to have a beautiful project at the end of this. I think there are a couple of these um, bundles still in the shop if you're interested. It's the last that I am um, thinking, what have I done here? But I've just hooked it, that's all didn't sew it I thought no I didn't do that so if you're interested they're in my website shop okay there we go I'm happy with that let's just do a little bit of a knot here I'm not worried about the underneath appearance too much which is not good because I hear every all the teachers and things growing up and my mother and everyone saying to me the underneath needs to look as good as the top and they were right, <laughs> but not when I'm gluing it. Right, and then I'm just going to take some glue here. Um, now I'm putting a card in there, so I'm mindful of where I put this. I think I'm gonna put it a little bit over the window, just a little bit, so that's where I'm gonna put it. And then we're good to go, we can get this into our Look, look how beautiful this is looking. Right, all we want to do now is take some ribbon. So I don't even know how long this is. 16 inches. I'm going to, uh, what am I going to do? <laughs> I'm going to take the two of them, I think. So it, they're close together, so it's, it's not a problem. So you want to just get this underneath here like that there we go are they pretty much the same length pretty much i'm going to cut the ends in a sec right that's okay and then you want to just tie them like that There we go, right. And then you want to just wind them around the bottom there like that. Okay, now if you haven't got ribbon, you can use Baker's twine. You can use whatever you like. So we just want to do that and that. There we go, good to go. All right, um, isn't that pretty? All right. Move that out the way, grab my signature here, and get to the page. The moment of truth. <laughs> Just going to move those over, and I'm going to get this stuck like that. Oh, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I am loving it. Right. So this is the side we want to card on. So I'm just going to use my fabric tack because it's right here, right? And then I'm gonna glue it on there. Decent amount of glue. And then uh, some down here. 
and then some over here. I love these colors. Right, these are my faves. I'm in heaven. Absolute heaven. Right, let's get this centralized now. I'm being mindful of the edge here. So I, I, remember, I'm going to have a card sticking out. So we want to stick that down. Stick down, Daisy. Right, and then across the top. Who would say that was a mailer? Would you even know it? Right, this can go back in here. It's it's not quite dry, and I would suggest before you stick your card in inside there that you do just give it a, um, a good half an hour just to dry. But for the purposes of the video, I will have to grin and bear it. Now I'm going to open that up. I've got a card I made from the mini page. So the mini pages are two to a page. And I've cut it then in half, all right? I've backed it onto recycled card like that and put in one of those little tabs. And I'm going to just slide that in there. Like that. All right, so we've got our little window through the window. <laughs> How sweet is that with some foliage? So that's adorable. So we've got that there like that. Yeah, just wrap that around. Uh, you're going to work because I've, um, I've got, you know, not so much time now. Come on. Right, there we go. It's playing up. Right, so there we go. We've got that there. And then the other little one was the daisy, which I put in the little flowers ribbon. Isn't that adorable? Also, just a tab on the back there. And that's from my ephemera kit. And that is what I want to just stick out over there. And there we have it. Job done. That's your Friday video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Go and get those mailers because you know you want to. And how gorgeous is that? I love it. All right. So I will see you Sunday. Um, go and check out everybody's wonderful show some style videos if you haven't already. And like their um videos please don't just put thumbs down to people i was listening to to rachel's video and it was heart-wrenching and i know how she feels because that's happened before give give people positivity i know you all do but there's just that elements out there um positive comments love share the love and i'll see you on sunday thank you everyone i know you're all wonderful and i'm very blessed i'll see you on sunday Bye bye